Hi guys, so we're back uh, today with a few more exercises for you. Uh, we hope that you enjoy it as much as we do because we just cannot get enough. Uh, the exercises today are a bit different. It's, uh, it's exercises that you can do with your baby or you can actually also do it without. You don't, you don't have to have a baby to do this. But it's still great fun to do it together. Exercise. We're going to work the arms a bit. So you just put your baby down to the end of the mat. And a little bit more up for me. So, let's put back. And so, make sure that your hands are under your, your shoulders. <laughs> and then you inspire as you go. Inhale as you go down. And exhale as you come back up. Inhale as you go down. Yeah. And exhale as you come up. So just make sure that the tummy is in. <laughs> you can go to the advanced way where you're up on your toes and you bend down. But I'm going to do the easier version. And exhale as you go up. And this is just great fun, isn't it? It's funny. <laughs> Bye! And... Once you've had a baby, you keep working, doing things where you just you're in a south position, so it's really good to come up straight and up and put the shoulder blades together. Make the last two. One and two. Go. So the next exercise. So you start with your arms to go forward. And the baby is well placed between your knees. <laughs> a little bit of distance between you so he's, he's nice and safe. So you inhale back, exhale, move one arm back. Inhale, moving forward, and exhale as you return. Inhale back to the other side. Exhale, move your other arm back. Inhale, move your arm forward, return. <laughs> Yeah. 
little bit unhappy at the moment. The next exercise is on your hands and knees. And so you start by pulling in your stomach, making sure you have a slightly bend in your elbows and your hands under your shoulders. Then you inhale, as you move your right leg back. Exhale, as you move it towards your elbow. Yeah. And you make the last two. One and two. Always make sure that you have your tummy pulled in. You make another one on the same side. So now you cross. <laughs> so you move your knee towards your opposite elbow. So you exhale, move it across, inhale, back. <laughs> and there, so you're ready again. Exhale, cross, inhale, Don't make your back pop up and then keep your tummy in. Inhale as you lift your arms. Keep your feet on the floor. Exhale up. Inhale back down and exhale with your arms over your head. Very good workout for the abs. Inhale and you lift the opposite arm and leg. Inhale, lift. Up. 
big spread to the other side. Yeah. Inhale it. Yeah. Good one for your back and also for your tummy that you of course have tucked in all the time. <laughs> Last two to each side. Yeah. Last one. One. And two. So the next exercise oh. is uh, the skin. Actually, the last one I have in the program today. So you are uh, starting to Yes, I'm going to show you the easier version first. So it's up on your toes now, hands under your elbow, yeah. under your, your shoulders as you slide, slightly bent forward. And the belly is up and you exhale as you lift your elbow, your knees. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lift one foot. Inhale, go. Exhale, lift the other foot. Inhale, go. And exhale, return. So it's very good warm up for your shoulder muscles. And it also gives a bit for the tummy. So, but for the harder one, you will feel it in your abs as well. So, <laughs> it's a bit slightly different. So, you start a little bit further back with your knees. And you come up on the, on the plank. So you exhale, lift, inhale, stay, and then you exhale, lift one leg, forward, back, inhale, and then you exhale, lift the other one, forward, inhale, back, and exhale, return. And then we'll do a few more. Dramatic rest, uh, respiration is optional, but remember to keep your stomach in. Yeah, good job, Ada. Back. Put your foot down, lift your leg up, forward, back, put your foot down, return. And then the next one, lift your knees, lift your leg, forward, back, put your foot down, lift your leg, forward, back, put your foot down, and the next one, and again, lift your knees, lift your leg, forward, back, put your foot down, lift your leg, forward, back, put your foot down, very good. You should feel it in your shoulders. <laughs> Round the shoulder blades. Make the last two. So make one. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Fun. You can do it up with money. And the last one. So. And you see? Actually, a nice stretch after this one. Just go down. Slowly sit up. And then your baby slowly sits up. Yeah. So, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, and I'll see you again another time. And I've got to say here in the end that it isn't always easy to be uh, videotaping with uh, or to, to film with a little baby. Uh, because you just, you know, if you have a baby, you know, there are lots of obstacles. Then they get hungry, and then they have eaten, then they get hiccups, then they need to burp. And there are a lot of obstacles, but if you do the training at home, it's easier because you can do it whenever you want to and you can just leave the mat out and make a few exercises here and there. And, uh, and you'll see how easy it gets. And once you've started, you will see how easy it gets to just continue making other exercises as well and, and just uh, get more energy. And the more active you get, the, 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 more, uh, the better you'll feel and the nicer results you'll have. So, Anyway, I'll see you next time with a few more exercises. 